Also in attendance at the global gathering, British Foreign Minister William Hague sat down with our foreign affairs correspondent Huang Sung Yi for a sideline chat. And here are his thoughts on a range of subjects from this year's Seoul Cyberspace Conference to President Park's upcoming state visit to London. British Foreign Minister William Hague says South Korea and the United Kingdom share the same ideals, even in cyberspace, which is why Britain asked Seoul to host this year's global conference on cyber issues. So this is one of the most connected countries in the world. It's got some of the fastest internet speeds in the world. Uh, the population have a great understanding of, of the internet and its uses in, it, in the economy. And I think like us, uh, people in South Korea believe in an open and free internet. Speaking to Arirang News on the sidelines of the Seoul Conference on Cyberspace 2013, the top British diplomat said London is looking forward to President Park Geun-hye's state visit to Britain next month. With this year marking the 130th anniversary of bilateral ties between the two countries, Haig said the upcoming visit will be an opportunity to upgrade their relations to a new level. This is about making sure our relations are, are fit for the 21st century, encouraging our cooperation in science and in culture and the creative industries, making sure that we're building on recent increases in trade and investment that means more jobs and prosperity for people in Britain and in Korea. Haig said that Seoul and London have always maintained good cooperation on issues pertaining to North Korea's nuclear ambitions and reaffirmed Britain's firm commitment to lasting peace on the Korean peninsula. Uh, we have often expressed our condemnation in the past of, nuclear, of North Korea's uh, military programs, particularly nuclear program. And we would like to see it take a, a different direction in the future and we'll always urge it to do so. But there are issues that two countries remain divided on. Well, what's Britain's stance on Japan's recent push to lift its self-imposed ban on the right to exercise collective self-defense? Britain is a friend of many countries in this region, including Japan, and of course very much including South Korea. And it is very important for countries, particularly the, the free democracies of this region, to play a steadily bigger role in world affairs. Uh, it's important that Japan also uh, is able to pursue that contribution to international peace and security. The visiting British diplomat, who recently expressed support for Japan's collective self-defense, said that with all the conflicts that have taken place in history, Europe understands the concerns of Japan's neighboring countries like Korea and China. But he added that what Britain would like to see is these countries building mutual trust for a collective security in the Asia-Pacific region. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.